Welcome to the Hippie Snuggles podcast. Hashtag in person, though. Yeah. Um, you've been here for over a month now, right? Yeah. And you got, I think, just under a month left. So you're at about the halfway point, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. So you should know everything about Colorado now. Yeah. So I guess we'll just start. What's our capital? Denver. What's our bird? Pelican. That's good. <laughs> oh. What's our state flower? The peony. The peony. Everybody knows this. The peony, that was an easy one. State animal? The turkey. Hippopotamus. <laughs> the hippopotamus. Welcome to the Hippie Snuggles podcast. I have, you can probably hear, you can probably hear that now. Um, we've come up with a list of things that we want to talk about. And speaking of list, I might have a lisp because I went to the dentist. Can we start off the podcast talking about that? Yeah. I went to the dentist yesterday because I broke a tooth, a tooth. And, um, I went in to the dentist and it's my first time ever going to the dentist in my entire life. And a terrible, terrible thing happened to me. Um, to start... They put me in here, and it was, like, an open room, a big open cubicle, right? It was, like, no office or anything like that. Yeah, it wasn't in a separate room. They had, you could see other patients Yeah, I could see the other patient next to me. Um, And then the lady comes in, and she puts the x-ray machine in my mouth and tells me to bite down on it, and I keep biting down on it. But Did you say you've never been into a dentist? Yeah, I've yeah. never been to a dentist. And every time that she goes to move her arm away, she smacks this big stick hanging out of my mouth and keeps smacking me in the gums, keeps smacking me in the tongue, in the side of the mouth, in the roof of the mouth, and my teeth, everything. She did it about five times. And uh, one of the last times, I, she hurt my tongue really bad, and I didn't know what it was until I got home. But apparently she cut my tongue, uh, so that's healing up now. Now I cut my tongue at the dentist. And then the dentist comes in and tells me that my uh, my treatment plan would cost some $2,600. So I, I guess wanna, we'll find out what's happening there. I didn't want to interrupt you, but can I just say, doing podcasts in person are really weird. Why? Because we're just looking at each yeah, other talking? Yeah, or like looking yeah. up. Because like when we do podcasts online, it's like I just look at a screen or I look mm-hmm. at YouTube or something. But now we're just like looking at each yeah, other and it's stuff. Like it's really weird. awkward. So we're going to do a, a full podcast about you getting here, getting to Colorado, what it was like and everything in between, right? Yeah. So I guess this is my turn. Yeah, I gotta, you got to start it off. Well, I'd never flown before, let alone with somebody, let alone be alone. So I was flying alone. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got the sniffles because I'm allergic to cats. I mentioned that in a vlog. Anyways. And Bree's got a dead cat on her. Yeah. On her. That's, That's why she's real. allergic. Anyways. <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. So I was flying alone, and I had a layover in Chicago, which is pretty, pretty... Uh, it's like the second most popular airport in the world. The second most world, biggest right? whatever airport in the world. So... I had a layover there, and I was flying out of Harrisburg, which is the capital of Pennsylvania. Hashtag. I don't know. Anyways. um, So, I was Hashtag. super nervous. So, the first vlog that we made, I didn't really do vlog much, because how can I vlog when I'm, like, having a panic attack? So, um, I guess I'll begin with going through security, which was fun. Um... I didn't know what was happening. Like, if I knew that I didn't see my parents, I guess. I guess I should know, mm-hmm. should have known, but I wasn't thinking. And I didn't get to, like, hug them properly. I kissed my mom on the cheek or whatever when I was in the line. And then I waved to them, I guess. And I was oh, like, oh. And then at that point, I was like, I'm not going to see them. Oh, God. And so, um, I kind of went to into autopilot. <laughs> Get it? Because planes. <laughs> and, uh. That was just plain stupid. Oh, my gosh. I guess I should just fly away from that topic. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, are her arms tired. <laughs> okay. Anyways, so the when I when I was next to go through, they looked at my ID and everything, and blah blah blah. What do you do at security and flights? Everybody's probably like, yeah, Brie, I've flown like to Japan like three thousand times. Anyways, um. They had, like, a break where they were switching out security guards, so I was like, mm-hmm. I have time to put stuff. And they were like, put all magazines, all something-something in the bins. And I was like, 
well, I'm just going to put everything in the bin. <laughs> so I put my computer tablet in there, and mm -hmm. I put my camera and every my wallet even because I was rushing, yeah. and slid it through. It took, and then they're like, you need to take your shoes off. And I was like, okay. So I took my shoes off. And then the security guard was like, he was talking about my ukulele. He was like, oh, is this, so what's in this bag? I was like, a ukulele? Like, he, I, don't, I think he thought I had like a bomb or something. And he's like, can you play well? I was like, yeah, I've been playing for like two years now. And he's like, well, we have an audience. So I was like, nope. And then I gave him my shoes. And then, and then I went through the thing and then I was at the gates. Security went really fast. I thought it would be like super long and they'd be yeah. looking at me and then checking everything thoroughly, but it's super fast. And I thought, because I was bringing so many electronics, I was like, oh my God, what? They think this is a bomb. It's not a bomb, I swear. So It wasn't a bomb. Yeah. I'm like a super noob to flying, so heads up to, I don't know. Anyway, so the first flight, it was delayed because there was, because there was, um, a huge storm in Chicago. Yeah. So it was like an hour delayed for the first one. And I was like, okay, that's pretty normal. I was like, I was sitting up like with my backpack and Ready I was like, run. and then as soon as I heard layover, I slowly Aww. took my backpack off and put it in front of me. And um, then we get on the plane. It's a, it's a really, really small plane, like two seats, hall and two seats, like it was super squished. And I was sitting next to this business guy, which I was like super relieved because I was like, mm -hmm. Oh, thank God. It's like someone who knows his stuff. So he was like super helpful. We were talking about ukuleles in Hawaii. And he went he went to Hawaii for ukulele lessons. I was like, okay, that's cool. All right, that's cool. Yeah, because I had my ukulele. So my yeah. ukulele starts a lot of conversations. <laughs> and so uh, <laughs> it was really awkward when we were getting to Chicago. I had a problem with my seatbelt. I was like, how the heck do you take this thing off? And I was like, excuse me, sir. How do you take this off? And he showed me. I was like, thank you. I forgot as soon as I got off. Yeah. So I was like, crap, I gotta practice. And so he was helping me throughout the whole thing. He, I, I feel so bad. I was such a freaking brat. Not really. I was just really ignorant. Mm -hmm. So I was like, uh, so have you flown to Chicago before? He's like, oh yeah, all the time, all the time. And so we get to Chicago and I was like, do you happen to know where uh, Terminal 2 is? He's like, yeah, I'm actually heading that way. I was like, oh, sweet. And so as soon as we get to the escalator, he's like, all right, I'm going to turn here. And I was like, okay, see ya. Or not see ya. I was like, okay, bye. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And he's like, yeah, no problem. And then I was alone. 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 My God. <laughs> anyway. So, Jesus Christ. I was rushing around trying to find uh, my gate, mm -hmm. and I went to this really, I'm not, he was really feminine guy. He was, I presume, gay. That's not, I mean, that's, I don't know. And so I was like. Wow. <laughs> How offensive. So I went, do you know where gate F something is? And he's like, oh, yeah, it's, uh, you pass it, you go down and straight, the first left. I was like, okay, thanks. So I went. Because I got lost in there. That's, yeah. So I went to that Yeah, guy. gotcha. <laughs> and so I went there, and then it was delayed. Yeah. First, they changed the whole gate. Right. So it was... And this is my first time flying. Mm -hmm. So it was delayed again, and then they changed the gate. This gate was packed, the first gate. There was, like, three different flight people sets. And there was these kids from Japan that came from Japan... And I was like, hey, can I sit here on the floor? On the floor, just saying. And because I didn't want to stay in my back hurts. I have like a really bad back problem. I freaking, I'm yeah. 17 and I have a terrible God. back. <laughs> so I sat down with these hipster kids from Japan. And they're saying, oh, we could have drove home from here because they're going to Illinois or mm -hmm. somewhere in Illinois. And there it was like a, I don't know. So anyways, my gate was changed to this other gate. And then it was changed again. Like, it was changed two times, three times, including the first one, but... So I was walking all over Terminal 2, going to gate to gate, and so I finally got to this one, and it was delayed again. Mm -hmm. So I'm, like, three hours in delay time, counting the Harrisburg delay. So I was like, oh my god, I'm never getting a layover again. So, um, I go, and I picked a seat online to be a window seat, and... 
I sit next to... Oh, by the way, the Chicago airport smells like raviolis, guys. It's like a huge mall that smells like ravioli. And then I sit by this guy. <coughs> he's like... He's a really pissed off guy. Like, he did not want to talk about talk to me at all. And I had a problem putting my backpack up into the... To the... Whatchamacallit thing. Overhead. Yeah, because it's... I was sitting in the way back next to the potty. Yeah. And so there's that overhead. Mm -hmm. It's like half an overhead. Half of it is filled with toilet paper and like cleaning shit and stuff. And then you put yours there. So I had to stuff my thing up there and then he helped me. And I was like, thank you. And then I was like, could you put this over here? He just did not want to do anything with me. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I'm so sorry. And so we didn't look at each other, talk to each other. <laughs> he was eating his weird crackers and ginger ale next to me. I was like, okay, thanks. And then, <laughs> yeah, at that point, I was just super happy because I was at <clears throat> the point where, um, okay, after this flight, I'm just going to see Hippie and it's all going to be good. It's all going to be good. So I was like super excited. As soon as I got there, I was like, finally, it's over. I don't have to deal with this mean guy, Indian guy, not to be racist, but he smelled weird too. Anyways, I complain a lot. <laughs> um, and then we, and then, and then I saw, I texted you as soon as I got there yeah. and I was like, I'm, I'm in Colorado. Colorado land or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and so... So I had been watching your flight the whole time because you can just watch the tracker and mm -hmm. see where it is. And it's funny because you didn't know where you were. Uh -uh. But I knew that you went through freaking Canada. Yeah. Through Michigan. Yeah. Through Chicago. I was in Erie. Uh, and then you went Erie. all the way down to Oklahoma and mm -hmm. up to Kansas and then across to Colorado to avoid this huge storm. Mm -hmm. So you went through like 12 I states. I saw lightning while I was flying. I was like, I wonder if I could have died. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> So, you landed. Um, what was the first thing you thought when you came around the corner well, and saw as, me? When, oh, when I saw you? Yeah. Everything, all the flight, I just didn't even think about the terminals. I didn't think about anything but you. I was like, finally, this is my destination. And I was just totally happy to be on the ground again yeah. and to see you. So, I've known how tall you were <laughs> ever since like I met you. I knew yeah. you were 5'3". Yeah. But I just don't expect how big of a difference that is. Because yeah. everybody online was talking about it when they saw her vlogs. I'm like, oh, Hippie looks like a giant compared to Bree. And <laughs> Bree's 5'3", so she's not short for a girl. You're like average height for a girl. It's just I'm 6'3", I'm a large man. And you're f a foot tall. Yeah, so when like you came up and gave me a hug, I was just like, I could have put my head on top of your head. <laughs> And I was like, this is weird. She's so short compared to me. <laughs> is that what you thought in your head? That's what I said right away. I was like, you're so short. And then I think you said I was so tall. Yeah. So right after that, we grabbed your luggage, right? Yeah. Your mom was like, why is there an S on the bag? Yeah. <laughs> she was like, so your mom painted a big S yeah, on your bag. Yeah, because last name Your is last name starts with an S. And my mom's like, why is there an S on the bag? Why isn't it a B? But you, like, your whole family uses yeah. that luggage. Like, Christian used it when he went to Canada. Canada and then you used it now, so you paint an S on it, so it's pretty good last Also, time. it's kind of ironic, because, like, solo snuggles, so. Yeah. So, we grabbed your bags, we got in the car, and we only had to drive about 10, 15 minutes, because I live 10, yeah. 15 minutes from the airport. Um, so, what were, the, what were your first thoughts? Uh... I was sleepy. Yeah. And I was happy. Yeah. But mostly sleepy. I noticed mostly happy. right away you're very slappy. What do you mean? You slap me in the arm a lot. You slap me in the leg a lot. You kept <laughs> slapping me and just slapping I'm me I'm very, I don't know. I like moving my arms. Yeah. So you were very slappy right away. And then when we got home, you were already dancing and stuff. So I'm guessing you were excited to be in Colorado. I had to see. <laughs> okay. Woof. Um, so yeah. That was it. You were in Colorado. And the next morning we went for a walk and we walked right down the block. Yeah, and as soon as I got outside, because I couldn't see, it was really, it was dark out when I, right. when I landed. Right, picked you up, because, because of the delays, you landed at almost 10.30. I was out at 11, yeah. Yeah, because you were supposed to land at 7.30, mm -hmm. but you got delayed almost three hours, so you landed at 11, 
by that time it was pitch black out you didn't see anything so the morning was the first time you got to saw the mountains yeah the more like that's why i'm kind of excited to fly out because i'll finally see colorado up in the air during right. the daytime but yeah the mountains here are insane like as soon as i was here i was like why aren't you looking at the mountain he's like oh i've been here all my life and so i was like yeah yeah, yeah. so we walked down you got to see him and everything and then um i think the next day or the third day second or third day we were gonna go to the mall but then my parents were like well, why don't we just take her out to Garden of the Gods real quick? Yeah. We'll just drive around. So, if you're not from Colorado or you don't know what the Garden of the Gods are, it's um, it's a Native American holy land that was turned into a national park. I think it's national. It was turned into a state park. <laughs> it it should turned... be national. It's a park. It okay? should be national. Um, and I've the, only been to one national park. The Ice Age moved these... 400 foot tall red rocks into the middle of this big clearing so now there's these giant rock formations sprouting out in the middle of the mountain range right yeah like little 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 sunflowers yeah you guys got to see some did they see pictures of that yeah 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 okay so you guys got to saw a little bit of garden of the gods in one of our vlogs um there should be a new vlog coming out that'll have soon. more garden of the gods stuff <clears throat> We're going to talk about that in a little bit, too. But you got to see Garden of the Gods, uh -huh. and you got to see the Red Rocks, uh -huh. and um, you said there was nothing like that back in. No, heck no. Like, we, uh, I feel like Pennsylvania is like a little shrimp compared to Colorado. Yeah. you. Well, I'll just compare it the way you compared it. You said, when I go to Pennsylvania, it's going to be like seeing a limp penis. Yes. And that Colorado was a raging boner. That's what yeah. you said. So, yes. um... I guess you can tell me what's what's the differences. What what is what's different about Colorado? Okay. And what's the similar? Okay. Well, to start out, Colorado has a bunch of sprinklers. Right. Because we don't get a whole lot of rain. Yeah. But right now it's monsoon season, so we're getting nothing but rain, so it's useless. <clears throat> but normally we go through this huge drought where all of our trees mm -hmm. die. All of our plants die, and then there's forest fires everywhere. So now, in order to keep green grass and communities and housing and stuff like that, you have to have sprinklers. Uh -huh. So Bree wasn't expecting so to see all these sprinklers. Yeah, so like I already got sprinkled on by sprinklers. So. Right. <clears throat> and um, and they don't have drains. Like yeah. what are they called? Grates? Drainage ditches. No, like or grates like uh, the... sewer drainage grates the grates in, in the, roads the roads and the and curves cement, that the water goes into that the water go they don't have those so like days like these in the manga longa longa season yeah <laughs> we have a lot of like pools of water at the end of floods. the roads. there's and like flash floods. flash floods all the time and it knocks out the power sh lights <clears throat> it knocks out the power to our yeah. red lights and stuff yeah so that's another thing right that that's different is we have a ton of stoplights yeah. Compared to where you well, are. Well, I grew up with mediocre stoplights, mm -hmm. and I've been all around. Like, I've been right. in the city, I've been in the country, I've been in the suburbs. But where I am right now, there's no uh, traffic lights within, like, 20 miles from us. Because yeah. where I'm in, there's only, like, stop signs yeah. and stuff. But, so Colorado is just a bit bigger. Well, I bet there's, city. like, countryside, but right. where you are, it's, like, a city. But um, but we were talking about how the walk to one of your big supermarkets, right, giant, is like just over a mile or something. But yeah, you gotta go up a hill. hill and stuff like that. And it's a little bit even. You go down like a country road almost. There's like uh, field and woods on one side, and then a river on the other side. That's everywhere in Pennsylvania. <laughs> but it's just over a mile. Mm -hmm. And the walk that we did to get that fidget spinner in that one vlog, we walked to that store, and that was what 0.7 so it's almost a mile um and so i'm expecting when i go out to visit brie to just be like, i don't think we'll walk to giant shocked yeah by how small everything seems yeah because it takes 10 15 minutes just to walk to that corner store mm -hmm. and it'll take that long to walk to 
like one of the furthest stores from you. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm gonna be so shocked and surprised. We have a lot of. <clears throat> we have like a a town square where there's like a bunch yeah. of shops. Even that's going to be weird yeah. because we don't have a town square. I live in the middle of a metropolitan like city area. Yeah. In my neighborhood, there's some like um, 700 and something houses. Yeah. Like wherever. if I said like online on this podcast where I live, like, yeah. like for you, you can tell like which city you're from yeah. and nobody would find you. But if I did, you, you'd find right. me. You know? Because there's like 800 people in your town. Yeah. But there's 450,000 in my town. Yeah. So there's a, it's, like, harder to tell. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, um, so, yeah, it's it's a bit different. Oh, comparing. Yeah. Um, you, you talked about how dry it was. Yeah. And you said you like that. It's, yeah. But then I get, I realize I get prickle heat. Right. I used to get it, like, every single day here. You're and not I getting it as much. I think yeah. you're just. And so I had to use a bunch of lotion. So now I feel like I'm just. One of them and dry. So when I go yeah. back to Pennsylvania, it'll be like a sauna. Yeah. I'm excited to see what happens to me if I'll, like, explode when I get home. Well, we should talk about the elevation change, too. Yeah. Because you went from near zero, not sea level, 100% near zero. zero, but um, you were at something like 100 feet above sea level. Mm-hmm. And now you're 7,000 feet yeah. above sea level. Because Colorado is in a mountain range. Mm-hmm. And <clears throat> some of the places we've taken you up to, we've already passed what over 10,000 yeah, feet. Yeah, over 10,000 So, we're really high up, and people don't exactly know what that's like unless you live in one of those mm-hmm. high elevation cities. Um, but the air does not have as much oxygen in it. Yeah, and with asthma, it's like right. a bitch. And, yeah. So, I've lived in Colorado my entire life. I've lived within 20 miles from where I am right now my entire life. Um, And I'm constantly used to being at that 7,000, 8,000. So, I don't notice it. But I'm excited to see what it's like when I go to Pennsylvania. Because I'm going to have so much oxygen that I feel like I'm just going to have so much energy. Mm -hmm. But it could be bad, and it could be lightheaded, and it could get oxygen sickness. Also, in your houses, like, they're very modern. <laughs> yeah, like, compared to what, well, compared like to what you're used to. And they have, like, rocks in your yards. Yeah, you were surprised about you that. Have, like, yards full of rocks. Right. Well, like I said, it doesn't always rain here. Yeah. And so in order to keep green grass, you have sprinklers. to have sprinklers. But that's water bill. That's expensive. So some people just put rocks. In their yeah. front yards, and I guess you weren't expecting that. Yeah, but yeah, weird. the houses, like you're talking about, they're so modern. Some of the houses you've seen were from like the 60s and 70s. Mm-hmm. And you're like, they're so modern. I guess they're modern compared to the some of the hun- like 1800 houses in your town. So mm-hmm. I guess that makes sense. So Colorado's what? drier, it's higher. <clears throat> what I, what's you the... smell weed more. Oh my God. <laughs> There's not a day when I go out and I don't smell weed. Yesterday we were at the movies, and we came out and we were waiting to get picked up. And just from sitting there, about four or five people passed that we could smell weed. Oh, yeah. So, and that's out of the maybe 40 people that passed. Yeah. So, five out of 40 people do weed. Um, <laughs> what's, what's, what's a like about Pennsylvania and Colorado? Mm-hmm. The cities are kind of the same. Like, you know, the malls are kind of the yeah. same. And You were talking about when you go to, like, Harrisburg and stuff? Yeah, or, and yeah. Philadelphia and Camp mm-hmm. Hill and stuff. Uh, Camp Hill and stuff. Um... But, yeah, they're kind of the same, yeah, city right? area is kind of the because same. Because we'll be driving, and I'll be like, oh, this could definitely be put in Pennsylvania, and right. I'd be like, oh, this is Pennsylvania. There's something. But yeah. then there's, like, that freaking mountain in the background, like, mm-hmm. what the heck? This is not Pennsylvania, you yeah. know? So I'm excited to oh, see. Oh, and there's a lot of rainbows here. Yeah, I've never been excited about rainbows, because nearly every time it rains here, it rains during the day. So we see rainbows every day. Sometimes we'll see two, three, four, five at a time. And Bree's like so excited about these rainbows because I guess they don't see them very often. No, because when it rains here, it's like not light out. Like it's light, but it's gloomy. Right. So it's like. Yeah, we'll have full on sun rain. Yeah, so. I like that. And their their rain is warm. Yeah. We have warm rain. Warm rain. Okay. So we have been living <clears throat> together. I guess Practical. you can say it. Uh in the same area and they're sharing the same shelves and the same kitchen and all the same things for the last month Mm -hmm. what's it been like 
Uh, comfortable. Is there something I do that you just can't stand? Not really. I thought you were snoring, because... Right, I snore very, very, very loud. I thought your snoring would wake me up, but I sleep through it. Hmm. Maybe it's because I have a fan, like, on to my head. Yeah. But yeah, that doesn't bother me. Hmm. I don't know, something that I didn't know... I don't know. I kind of, like, we've known each other for, like, a ball's time, so I kind of expected some things. But, oh, there's something that I, that I... Hmm. Huh. I don't know. I've learned some things about you. What did you learn about me? I've learned quite a few things. Huh. There's one thing that you do that bugs me. What? And I'm going to go ahead and say it. You'll go get a cup of apple juice. Oh, God. <laughs> right? You'll go get a cup of apple juice, and you'll drink half that cup of apple juice. And you'll put that cup up on a shelf. <laughs> and then in an hour... You'll go get another cup of apple juice, <laughs> and you'll drink half of that cup of apple juice, and you'll put that on a shelf across the room. <laughs> and quite often, will I go and grab two or three cups of half drinking apple juice <laughs> and go and pour them out because they've been sitting out for a few days. Just the other day, you spilled out a can of cream soda that was half drinking Fourth of July. from the 4th of July. <laughs> so... Yeah, other than that, there's not a lot. I mean, she loses her fidget spinners every freaking <laughs> few days, and I have to find her fidget spinners again. But, I mean, that's what, what you expect to happen when you date a meme. So, wow. Yeah, I had to buy you a new fidget spinner. You've lost your. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I want to tell this story. So, we walked to Loaf and Jug uh-huh. at. Oh, before you continue. Oh. They have a knockoff Turkey Hill, everybody. They have a I don't know loaf. if they're going to know what Turkey Hill is. Turkey because they Hill. might have another one. There's like four of them. Shout out to Turkey Hill people. You if get you've a heard cookie. Of Turkey Hill or Loaf and Jug. <gasps> Comment below who will win. Turkey or some Hill of the other or Loaf ones. and Jug. <laughs> yeah, Google it. Because there's like five different stores mm-hmm. that are all the same name. Or all different names, but the same logos, and they sell the same products and everything. So yeah. find out what you guys have in your area and let us know which one you have. You get cookie points for uh, Turkey Hill. So we walked down to that Loaf and Jug, yeah. Turkey Hill, Loaf and Jug. Uh, Turkey Hill knockoff. At 9 o'clock at night, 10 uh-huh. o'clock at night, to get you a fidget spinner. To get me a fidget spinner. We got it. We, we brought it home. It. You had it for about two days, and you lost it. Yeah. I found it, not in Bree's bed. Not under Bree's bed. Not in my bed. It was in your bed. But under my bed. It was in your bed. And I pull it out, and the ring is broken where they seal it. So I get it. I super glue it. I fix it. Voila. Fix fidget spinner. She loses it the next day, <laughs> right? So it's gone for about four or five days. I'm thinking, we're not getting this fidget spinner back. It's gone. She lost it. It's probably in the middle of the street. Some kid found it. It's having the best day of his life. Fidget is spin, spinning his fidget all over town. Um, and so we go to a store and we see them. <coughs> and you see one that you want. You see a little pink one. Uh-huh. And you're like, I want this. And I'm like, okay, I'll get it. And so I bought it. We bring it home. You got the fidget spinner. We're cleaning our shelves, getting rid of all the apple juice. Is that apple juice right there I see on the next to the record player? No, that's a flashlight, babe. Okay. What did I say? We're getting home, cleaning up all the apple juice, cleaning their beds. I find the old fidget spinner. <laughs> so now Brie has two pink fidget spinners, one glow in the dark and one the one that you've seen in the vlog. Um, so yeah, you get your fidget spinners back. So yeah, that's what I've learned about living with Brie. She loses her stuff very often. I know And you what, like apple juice. I know what I learned about you. What did you learn about me? I know you... Um, you are you looking for something around the room I'm to find to make fun of me? Thinking of what I don't know what I learned about you. Did I say something? I'm like impulsive that? when it comes to buying records. Yeah. And we should but talk about that too. One second. Yeah. I gotta think. Um I hang all my clothes up. Yeah. Maybe like full. <laughs> he hangs all of his clothes up and he doesn't have a dresser. He has like, yeah. he calls it a dresser. It's just it's... like a little plastic rolling dresser because I don't need. 
a lot of drawers. Yeah, you do. And I don't want a big heavy drawer, so, so I have this little plastic hang one. All of so I hang clothes. all my clothes, so it, it doesn't get even wrinkled. Even like, like I'm surprised he doesn't hang his tidy whities I don't wear tidy whities <laughs> I don't wear boxers at all. It's just you just free go naked. Yeah, Captain No Pants. So, um, when Brie, okay, last October you bought me a record player, uh -huh. and I bought some records, and I some. was happy. I bought oh. some, and I was happy, and I had about 23 <clears throat> or 24 records, and then you came out, and you like going to antique stores, and Goodwills, and thrift stores, right? You like mm -hmm. going thrifting, looking at antiques. And so we went to a bunch that I've never been to, right? And the first one we go to, we found that deal, right? We found a bag with 80-something records in it for $15, mm -hmm. and so I bought it, right? And so that puts me up to 100 records. And then we keep going to Goodwills and thrift stores, and I keep buying records whenever I find them for a dollar or whatever. And so now I have 150 records. So, I'm impulsive when it comes to buying I've been records. buying him a lot of shirts because he doesn't have much. You have. I don't, I don't buy a lot of clothes. Yeah. So, I usually just have like four or five t-shirts, a couple of pairs of jeans, and some shorts. Yeah. But we've been going to Hot Topic a lot, and I keep finding band shirts that I like, and we keep finding these crazy deals. Like, the first one was buy a shirt, get one for $5, and then the second one was buy a shirt, get one half off, and then third one was buy a shirt get one for five dollars right mm -hmm. so in that time i've gotten i think three new shirts rolling stones black sabbath and the beatles so and then you've gotten a cat shirt and some other cool stuff so um yeah my clothes collection has been getting bigger um my room looks nicer yeah oh, like yeah. there's candles on the shelves and the books are stacked and there's fairy lights on the wall and yeah it's much more girly now, <laughs> but it's all right. It looks pretty cool. Oh, you got, you made me buy a light. Oh, yeah. That's something that's changed since you've been here. Um, so I'm in these houses that it's kind of weird. We don't have lights in the ceilings, except for in like the bathrooms and the kitchen. Other than that, there's no lights in the ceilings. So if or you want rooms. lights, then you have to have lamps. So I never had a lamp, and I got used to the dark, but Bree doesn't like the dark. So she had me buy a lamp. Yeah. And we bought a lamp and we're sitting it on top of Because my a... mom always comes in my room and she's like, there needs to be light in here. So she'll open the windows mm -hmm. and the curtains up and stuff, but they don't do that here. Yeah. So we bought a lamp and we put it on top of Bree's amp. Yeah. Um, and we're using that as a little lamp stand for now. And so <clears throat> that's something that'll probably stay the same when you go. I'll probably keep the light out, keep the lights up, the candles out and all that stuff. And keep it looking nice so um yeah there's been a lot of changes since you've been here yeah i've been i've grown attached to one cat here she is kitten yeah. katniss or sad cat or <laughs> or sadie 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 <clears throat> but yeah she's yeah. great so you like my cat even I'm though like you're allergic yeah. um we've been vlogging quite a bit right we've released how many so far three i think three yeah three but we have two more recorded oh yeah we have fourth of july we did some stuff for fourth of july we lit off some fireworks and maybe we can light off the rest of our fireworks later mm -hmm. so we still got a bunch left we had some smoke bombs some cool stuff and another tank and some other little things and whatnot so we still got to take care of those we still got to light some more fireworks off for you guys on camera but we got a lot already recorded and um we also did a big road trip Oh, yeah. Not this last weekend, but the weekend before? Yeah. Two weekends ago, we did a big road trip. Mm -hmm. We started out here, and we didn't get back until about seven and a half hours later. We went through about four, five, six small towns. We went through a couple of tourist towns, some cool places, some really old places and whatnot. And that's how we got up to about 10,000 feet, because mm -hmm. we went up in the mountains. And um, we recorded a lot. We went to a llama farm. Oh, yeah. We pet llamas. We fed llamas. Oh, yeah. We did a lot of cool stuff with llamas. Oh, yeah. That'll be the majority of the vlog, maybe. Llamas, yeah. And some driving and some cool stuff and some old houses and stuff. And um, that's another vlog. That's another vlog. But you'll be out here until August 5th. 5th. 
What do you want to do still? What do you want to do for vlogs? I'm not sure. I kind of want to do something with music. Ukulele vlog. Not okay. vlog, but cover maybe. But okay. I don't usually post those on the channel. <coughs> we could, could though. I don't know. Maybe we'll make a cover of something. Yeah. City of Stars or something. I kind of want to... <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. So, we still got some stuff that we want to do. I'm just not entirely sure what. Mm -hmm. But I know we want to do some stuff. Um, after, though, after you go back, there might still be vlogs on your channel after, but there won't yeah. be any more vlogs on my channel for a while. Until around Christmas time. Maybe a little bit earlier, but around Christmas time. Uh -huh. um, and then there'll be some more vlogs Christmas time because I'm going to Pennsylvania for Christmas and New, New Year's. Year. And then, yeah, you'll have a bunch more vlogs for that month, month and a half, however long I stay. Mm -hmm. Middle of December till the middle of January uh -huh. or so. So it's kind of like season. So this is like right. season one. And then I know they'll get more vlogs as late as next June. Because really important big stuff is happening then, but we're not going to talk about that just yet. Um, so that's the gold for the vlogs. I guess now we talk about the road trip. That's what it says on the paper. Um, what did you think? You got to see a lot of different parts of Colorado. Yeah. You got to see the mountains. You got to see, on one side of the road, the most beautiful landscaped hills and valleys and everything. And on the other side of the road, a complete dead, ripped out quarry. That's pretty sad. Yeah. But it looked kind of memorizing. Like, it's weird to yeah. see that. It'll be in the vlog. It's like complete opposites. Because on one side is dead rock and sand. Mm -hmm. And on the other side is a huge mountain range of just trees and forests and mines and stuff like that. It's so weird. Yeah. Pretty cool. You got to see donkeys yeah. in the middle of town. Yeah, we got to pet donkeys. I think that would be in the vlog too. One so. of the donkeys peed. One of the donkeys peed. I was so tempted to record it, but yeah. I did not. So we should explain that too. Um, Cripple Creek is a town in Colorado that is now a gambling town. Uh -huh. I think they have a lot of casinos and stuff. Uh -huh. But it used to be a mining town where they used to mine gold and all kinds of stuff. And they still mine gold up at that quarry. Mm -hmm. But they used to use donkeys for the rocks and stuff to move things. And after, since the donkeys had did all this work, they set them free, made them free-range donkeys. Mm -hmm. And the donkeys have been breeding for the last hundred years. <coughs> and no matter what, they're all still free donkeys. Yeah. So the donkeys walk through the middle of town and the cars stop and Yeah, there's like walk. donkey crossing, yeah. isn't there? Nobody does anything. Like, they're not allowed to move them. They're not allowed to do any of that stuff. So people come up and pet them. They feed them. They take pictures with them and stuff. So me and Bree took some pictures with them. We pet them. They were really dusty and dirty. Yeah. Um, and then one of them went over on the sidewalk. He walked away from us. Yeah. That was nice. He was very he polite. He walked about 15 feet away from us. Just peed all Squatted over the sidewalk. And, peed. and then he walked back over to us for more pet. Yeah, it was pretty much of a gentleman of he... Yes, indeed. And then uh, we passed the big llama farm. Yeah. They do show llamas. Yeah. And they also, I think, use their coats for stuff. But we got out, and I had never done it before because I didn't know they could. But apparently these people are cool with people just coming up and petting them, getting in with them, feeding them, all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> the kid came up, and he's like, yeah, you can walk around. You can get in the cages with them. You can feed them. You just can do whatever you want. Just don't showcase. go in the showcases. These ones here and this one there. Other than that, you're fine. So we went and we, we pet like, some. We're like, we're not going in. Yeah, we weren't going in because these llamas were big. They they're were like seven massive. feet tall. You'll see the vlog. It's they're the size of a horse. I didn't expect them to be that big, yeah. but they're big. Um, and they're so silly looking. Yeah. And then uh, we went to an old homestead, a really old historical place. It was like the first lady to own land uh -huh. in Colorado. And um, walked around. You saw some groundhogs, some little chirp chirp groundhogs. Oh. Uh, Some birds. Mere, not meerkats, but uh, Groundhog, prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. <clears throat> and then as we were leaving, the park ranger saw my black sabbath shirt and 
So like, hey, cool, sure, that's the first I concert I went to back in 1972, hey. I was like, yeah, right on, dude. And then we had, like, we high-fived and started doing the rock symbol. What the heck? No, that didn't happen, but the guy did say all this stuff. I was like, well, right on, and then we left. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was about it. We did do some cool road tripping around some cool places. We got donuts at one of my favorite donut places in Colorado, and I don't get them very often because it's all the way up really far away from us. It was about an hour and a half just to get up there, there to get donuts. Yeah, the guy looked like uh, Dylan. He did. The guy giving us donuts looked like um, Bree's friend and uh, a guy that we we made a video about yeah. a long time ago. But, um, yeah, it was a cool road trip. It was fun. I don't do that road trip very often, only about once a year, once every other year. I haven't been up there in about two, three years, so it was cool getting to go back up there again and seeing stuff. Um, they had a jukebox. Four fives. They did. They had an old school jukebox that played the little records instead of just like, you know, the modern day ones with an MP3 in them. That was pretty cool. You don't see that very often. So. There's modern day records with MP3? Yeah, I modern mean, day jukebox. jukeboxes that just have an MP3 player in it. And it just plays, or a little computer in it or something. So, um, we haven't been uploading as much, huh. right? Because we've been busy getting things set up, getting things organized we've just been going to the movies a lot and just hanging out and having some chill days we've been going back to the mall a lot we've been to the mall like four times now yeah um we've just been having some chill time and just kind of enjoying your trip out here and stuff but we do still have some stuff planned right we got two vlogs to do for sure we know those ones well, but then there's probably going to be more after that we have a uh podcast of course we did the summatory dreams and we have an idea for a Sky Wars video that we're going to oh, try. Yeah. But on top of that, we have a bunch of backed up Oak and Stone stuff that will come out later. So, what's our goal for YouTube? Just so people know. Mm. For now, and then after you go back. For now, <laughs> we're going to get this podcast up. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get the two vlogs you have up. And we're going to try to get back to doing some more sword art mm -hmm. because that's pretty fun and we've been doing a little bit of leveling and stuff and getting ready for new videos so we're gonna try to do some sword art i'm gonna get some more vlogs up maybe a little bit of a sky wars video here and there and some stuff just some casual stuff but then after you go back we'll be getting the oak and stone back up regularly two to three times a week like we were doing maybe some more sword art if it continues um and then just some more stuff and we'll be going like that for a few months and then things will change again because in the middle of December, I will be going out to Pennsylvania mm -hmm. and uh, we'll probably be short on videos again, but we'll get more vlogs and we'll get Christmas time vlogs yes, those are gonna be and the we'll best. get Christmas vlogs in a small town decorated for Christmas. Yeah. So that'll be amazing. Yeah. And you got a pet store out there. Yeah. And we'll go out there and we'll go to the pet store. Yeah. And we can vlog that. Yeah. We'll go to Goodwill and we'll vlog that. I don't know. Anyway. No, that's smelly. No. Okay. They won't smell it through the camera. <laughs> then we'll go to this town they'll, square. They'll see it and think of the smell. Maybe me and Bree will go sing choirs. Choirs? What? what are they called? Carols. Oh, carols. We'll go sing carols to people and we'll vlog that. Just me and you? Yeah, just me and you. We'll have to get a GoPro for that. No, the, I'll hold the camera in their face. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be doing a bunch of vlogs and stuff out there. And then June, there's some really important, crazy stuff going to be happening. Yeah. That we're getting will, married just kidding. <laughs> that will most likely be uh vlogged all that stuff yeah because that's going to be really important yeah and then after that you never know maybe vlogs will continue forever if you guys like them yeah. so um yeah for now vlogs sao yeah little stuff every now and again yeah and <laughs> wink isn't yeah nothing it's just nothing. yeah and then after that once Bree goes back we'll be going back to some normal stuff for a while and then, uh, and then it'll be <laughs> broken up again for <laughs> more vlogs and crap in December. So, I think that's about it, right? Yep. How have you enjoyed your trip up to this point? It's, it's, it's been a trip of a lifetime. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I guess that's about it for now. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, okay. I guess that's about it. Yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Or listening to our listening. podcast. Thanks for watching the jumpies. I have been Hippie. And I have been Bree. <laughs> and I will. See you. Guys. Next. Bye. Die! <laughs>
Bye guys.